What's up? Today we're going to be doing one of my all-time favorite things, and that is playing with the angle grinder, and I say playing very loosely. It's terrifying. The bus that I purchased came with luggage racks already in it, and I'm going to cut down a section of the luggage racks to fit up above my bed and double as closet and overhead storage. The best way to probably do this would be like with a pipe cutter, but I have limited resources out here, and... This is how I'm gonna do it. So let's do it. Here are the luggage racks. Um, they are long and very heavy. And they look like this. When my last video ended very abruptly, it was because my laptop ran out of storage and in order for me to like export and save a video, I have to have enough storage on my laptop. So it was kind of like a situation where like if I didn't export it, it was probably never going to get uploaded. But let me go ahead and show you guys what this bathroom wall looks like finished. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, something that I am going to do again that I love the way it turned out. My entire bathroom I am kind of like surrounding in shiplap just because that is the recycling building materials that I have to work with. By using the shiplap I was able to I guess hold each individual piece up to the section that it needed to be curved to fit. Um, and then that way I was kind of able to like take it back outside and like cut it down like really slowly and gradually just to kind of get like the perfect arch as opposed to putting up like a solid piece of plywood. Does that make sense? I don't know. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Also finished building out the bottom box. I built all the shelves at a slant so that no matter how I'm parked, um, when I open up the cabinet door, like nothing really necessarily falls out. Everything kind of just stays like slid back. I also finished the part that boxes in the back of the fuel line. Um, I have a question about that though. Is it hazardous to like put things directly on top of the fuel line? Because if that's going to be an issue, I would rather avoid doing that than like using it for storage. But ideally be a great storage space or maybe I could like build a box so things aren't like directly sitting on the view line. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think the, I guess statistics are that I probably die in a fire because I put stuff on top of my fuel line. Anyways, <laughs> let me show you guys the box. The handles are coming, so just imagine handles are here. So I just got done sanding forever. I'm not quite done yet, but I did just get a text from my friend. We're gonna go to a coffee shop and hang out for a little bit. I'm hoping to get a ton of Etsy pictures caught up on. Um, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time I do this.